Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be talking about an RDA. The RDA is called the Deed. The Deed Rabbit. Or as it's supposed to be called, the Dead Rabbit. Uh, this is, uh, it, it was a project, this was designed by Vapen Heathen, or Heathen in the States, who is a reviewer over there, uh, in conjunction with Hellgate. Or is that Hell Vape? Hell Vape, yeah. <sighs> Now I've currently got this, I'm squonking with this, this is a 2700 squonker, this was a birthday present to me from uh, Keith Morgantium uh, down in Wales and this is pretty much how I have been using this since I got it and it's not half bad, it's pretty cheap, uh, you can get this, I think it's £27 in the UK I'm on vapecloud.uk.co.uk just now and they have it in stock in the, the black and the silver. No, tell a lie. I'm lying. I'm lying again. Uh, they just seem to have it in the black. Uh, there's no option for silver there. Anyway, uh, this is not just clouds, bro. This is just not a cloudy RDA. This... There's, there's some things I don't like about it, I'll be honest, but uh, there's, it's got more going for it than I thought. Um, I've got the, the airflow is kind of dialed right down just now and I get a nice restricted lung hit. You can open it up and you can go full on nuts uh, but for me this is kind of where I like it and it's not, it's not bad. I'm quite surprised by this but anyway enough waffling. Um, close-ups. So here's the box that comes in. Celtic design going down here. We have a dead rabbit going on the front here. There is a reason for the dead rabbit. I mean don't dismiss it just yet. There is a reason for this logo. Uh, it's a, a project by Heathen. Scratch and sniff going on here. And we have all the spec going on on the back of the box here telling you everything you get with it. So inside we have uh, little grub screws. Uh, the reason for this is that you know when you get it, it does have flathead screws as for the terminal posts, but you can change them out to grub screws. I would suggest that you do that anyway, uh, but it just makes it easier to work with, in my humble opinion. Uh, we have spare O-rings going on there. We have two Allen keys, uh, one for tightening up grub screws and one for changing out the, the squonk pin as well. So let's start with the drip tips. Now you get a resin drip tip. Uh, you get, I'll just show you the, the black one here. So you get the green with the black and you get the red with the stainless steel. These are 810 and I have to be honest, I really like them. I think they're a nice inclusion in the kit, uh, these nice drip tips. So I can just take that off. It also comes with a, a black one here, Delrin. And if you don't like that and you want to use your own drip tips, you can just use the supplied uh, 510 drip tip adapter that just slots in there and put your own 510 ones in. But I think we're going to leave it with the resin one because I do think that looks quite good. So dimensions, as I said, this is a 24mm RDA and you're just looking at a ball here over 25mm in height, not including a drip tip and the 510. We do have a gold plated pin down the bottom here and we've also got peak insulation going on around here as well. Right let's get this top cap off and we'll have a look in here. Uh, off she comes, very very easy. Got these two o-rings holding the top cap in place. At the top of the top cap we have this knurled section here uh, to enable you to turn this round. I would suggest that you get some e-liquid on that out the box it is rather tight but once you've got some e-liquid on it it turns no problem whatsoever. Now you can run this in single or dual coil configuration because you have you know you've got the one two and three going on here and you can see that these air slots are actually angled down so this is going to take the air and put it down into the chamber. We do have a domed section going on here and just popping this back down on here boink there she goes so you can see that it's really easy to just adjust the airflow. The knurled top cap is not to everybody's taste, but I personally do like it because it just makes it so much easier just to adjust the airflow. You are looking about 9.5 by 2.6 mil for the airflow here, and so dual coil, you're going to get lots of air through this. 
but don't forget you can take it down to a single coil if you so choose. If you want to know what the Dead Rabbit logo is all about, if you look at the deck, you'll see the posts there. Uh, that's where it kind of ties in. Dead bunny rabbit ears. And that's what they look like. Now if you want to squonk with this, just change the screw out, you know, just pop in the other squonk pin. And the thing about this is, it's quite a strange setup for the squonk. Uh, it's kind of blocked off here, but you can see that the peak insulator there, you know, the squonk pin is going to push out the juice underneath that little gap there. And I do have to say that I have zero issues with the way this squonks. It just squonks great. Not one problem whatsoever. Building on this is is a breeze as well. Uh, like, I've got the flathead screws in there just now. Just going to unscrew these for you in just a second. You're looking at 2.6mm for the hole sizes in here. So that should accommodate most wires. And to show you where this, the one feature I really, really do like about this is that uh, you know, you know, you're going to pop your uh, your coils down inside here. And you know, with your normal postless deck, you've got the whole carry on with trying to guess, you know, exactly how you should cut this to get that in there. But with this one, uh, I just, you know, I just kind of guesstimate it. I mean, I know uh, Heathen said, you know, you can roll it in your thumb. So, you know, just grab the coil, just roll it in your thumb and just cutting it about there. Just a rough indication. Doink. Doink. And just pop the coil in. So if there was any excess, uh, the excess would come down underneath here and then all you would do is get your snips stick your snips in there and cut the excess off so we'll do the same on the other side slap a coil in then straighten my coils up then I would go away I would pulse that and that would be me good to go it's really easy to build on this thing and as I said you know if you've got a pair of snips if you do have any excess at all you just stick your snips in there and that's you you can just snip the excess off it's a really nice design feature that and I like what he's done there now I'm going to cheat here and I'm going to show you my uh, <laughs> my janky old coils uh, and the setup I've been running and you can see where the cotton is. Now the cotton's just coming down into that deck and it's just lying there and no more. Now I could take the cotton round the front actually, I could have a lot more cotton but I find that this just is what works best for me. And you can see the height that I've got the coils there. I could take them a little bit higher if I wanted to but this is just what works best for me. The well itself, because it's a 24mm RDA, you know, if I wasn't squonking, I would probably have a bit more cotton there and I would take the cotton round the front as well. But with squonking, yeah, it's not an issue. Now, because I'm at an angle here just now, it is kind of difficult for me to squonk without leaking everywhere, but hopefully you'll be able to see this. See the juice coming out there? Not a problem. It squonks really well, this thing. So I'm just going to line my coils up with my air hole, pop that on, and I'm good to go and have a vape. Right, how do I feel about the Dead Rabbit RDA? Okay, first things first. I'm not a fan of reviewers putting their name on gear. Uh, I'm not. I think it's a good way for for reviewers to to, to play in the market and, and to, to try stuff out. I like that aspect of it. I don't like the aspect that companies use reviewers to sell their gear. I like the fact that Heathen designed this. I know he designed it, I've seen, you know, that you've seen in his videos, if you go and watch them, you know, his design ideas. So this is his, but Hellvape have made it for him. I like that. I don't like, yeah, when you see some reviewers that, you know, a company's just used their name to sell a product, you know, I'm not a fan of that. So kudos to him for, for this. I like the the post design. I think it's really clever uh, and, and I think it's a great, you know, instead of having to, postless decks uh, can be a bit of a pain in the ass, you know, getting the right length for your tails, it can be annoying. And being able to get your snips in there to snip off the excess, I think that's really, really 
ingenious. I mean, once again, kudos to him for coming up with that idea. I like what's included. I like the drip tip adapter. I like the resin drip tip. You've got the Delrin drip tip, uh, the Allen keys, the O-rings, the fact you can squonk with it. It's all in there. It really is all in there and well done for that. I think the vape quality from it is very good. Don't get me wrong, it, it's no... It, it looks like it should be sitting on a 24mm mech blown clouds. Uh, it looks like that kind of RDA. And it will. I mean, if I open this right up, I've got it right open just now. It's a lung hitter, lots of air going through it. It does have a tiny little bit of restriction. It's not what you would call a, a competition RDA. But just now I can... Do that kind of stuff. But even at that, the flavour is very good. Now for me, I can actually take this down to, close it down to about a third um, and have a nice restricted lung hit. What I kind of like. Just one nostril working today, sorry. But with the air coming down, hitting the coil, the, the dome chamber, I think all that's contributing and helping to make this a flavoursome RDA and that is why I like it. I like it for the flavour that's coming out of it. It caught me off guard, I'm quite surprised. It's not entirely what I thought it was going to be when I agreed to do the review. It's no Narda, it's no Hadley or anything like that on the flavour front, but it's not far off it, which is quite surprising for me. So all in, um, everything you get, the accessories and all the rest of it, it, it's a big two thumbs up. I just... Cons, I hate the logo. I hate the logo. I actually don't put this on certain mods and that... Okay, that, this sounds so snobby. I'm really sorry. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to put this on one of my stab mods because... I've got a, a bit of a laddie da mod, I want to get a nice dripper on it and I see that logo and I go, no, nope, it's just not working for me. That's just me. I'm a fussy old shite, I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm not a fan of the logo. Uh, the knurling may put some folk off. Um, I personally quite like the knurling. I think knurling is actually a great thing because it's functional and you know it makes it easier to adjust the airflow. But yeah, I get that some people may not like that. Squonking with it works great. Remember, uh, with squonking, you don't necessarily have to use as much cotton. If I was using this as a normal RDA, I would have put more cotton in it and maybe brought the cotton round the front as well. For the money and the flavour and what you get with it, it's good. It's, it's, yeah, it's very, very good. I just need to get some black paint and uh, and go over the, the logo. <laughs> Sorry. So, a big thank you to Heathen for arranging to get this on to me. If you want, there are many reviews out there for this already. Uh, go and watch them before you make a decision on purchasing it. But as always to you guys, thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time and bye for now.